what's up? It's Joe Reddy from Reddy's Rise. We're back here at Loki Kia in super sunny and hot Clearwater, Florida. And guess what? I have that one small size subcompact vehicle that actually won the war. This is it. This is a 2023 updated, changed up, refreshed Kia Soul. But before we get into this boxier style, smaller subcompact crossover SUV, Let's talk about what's going on here. So I said that the Soul won the war. What war am I talking about? No, not the American Revolution, not World War II. We're talking about the small boxy style vehicle war. Who were the competitors to this vehicle? The Nissan Cube and the Honda Element. And we can't forget the Scion XB. Now what's interesting is as those cars went away, Kia kept bringing the soul. There was discussion last year that they were going to kill it off. Well, guess what? Not only did they not kill this vehicle off, but they decided to bring some changes, some big changes for 2023. Now, this vehicle, every time I look at it, I think of hamsters. It was those Kia commercials with the hamsters that would dance, that would drive, that would do all sorts of weird things that I think got people curious about the brand and then Kia was able to then show them that, hey, we got cars like the Stinger, we got cars like the Telluride and the Seltos. So what I wanna find out is, no longer is the Cube around, no longer is the Element or the Scion. Scion isn't even around as a brand anymore. What I wanna find out is, looking at small subcompact crossover SUVs, is this a better one to buy over, say, the all new Honda HRV? So let's go ahead, we got the bugs chirping here, but we're gonna keep the show rolling because that's what we gotta do. Let's dive into our new color for 2023. It's called Surf Blue and find out, is this the one to buy? Right off the bat, the color. It's one of those blues that you're seeing a lot of this all over many different vehicles from the C8 Corvette to BMWs and of course Porsches where here it is on the Kia Soul and this is the color known as Surf Blue. So up front, you're gonna see an all new headlight design. Now, if you're hoping on this S trim, there's still four trims. This is gonna be your S trim. If you were hoping for LED lights on the S trim, you are not getting that. What you're getting is obviously your old fashioned light bulbs up front for the turn signals. I do like the way they reshape the housing. It actually makes it look a little sportier. And if you want that extra sport, they still have the GT line. So you have LX, that's gonna be your gateway into the Soul. Then you're gonna have the S, which is what this one is, and then you're gonna have the GT line, and then the top trim is gonna be the EX. Working your way down, we got an all new front fascia. Now I love what they did with this corner area. I am gonna to have to give it half a zonk. The style is nice, it's just not functional. So it would have been great to make this an actual corner air curtain, but I really, and digging how they took the bright silver, just like a switchblade, and brought it into the front fascia. We got a little bit of flat black. And then of course, as we come across the front grille, this vehicle has an unmistakable shape. You can't confuse the sole with any other vehicle out there. You'll notice up top what they did. The Kia badge is actually on the inside of this housing that connects the headlights. Very interesting how they did that. I, I actually am digging that a lot. And then on the interior, you have these little chrome accent pieces fully encased behind the plastic. Let me know how you feel about that. I'm actually digging it. I think it looks really clean. Now this whole front fascia grill area is all new, updated. We got full functionality, this little mail slot, the larger areas, that silver goes all the way around the perimeter and the rest is flat black. So that's gonna take a nice beating. Obviously, if you change the trim, it's gonna change the texture of this front grille. Now, when we get up onto the hood, everything else is pretty much gonna be the same. I am gonna to have to zonk this gap. Kind of large. You could pretty much take a probably three slices of Kraft sing, uh, Singles cheese and drop it in there. That's how much space there is. But you do get a nice rise, and I like the way they have that U-shaped indentation just to give it a little bit of extra character. You'll notice Beach Boy style with the surf blue, we got the two-tone package that comes together with that blacked out roof. Now when we come around the bend, 
We do have new wheels. And on this S trim, you're not gonna get the fanciest. You're getting the 16 inch aluminum wheel. I actually don't mind the style. It actually reminds me of the snowflake style wheel from the Focus STs, the Ford Focus STs. Metallic silver matches the silver nicely on the front. 16 inch wheel, the good news about this, tires are gonna be dirt cheap. Plus, if you're a first time driver, it's got a nice meaty sidewall. That's a 60 series sidewall, 205 on the width, 60 series sidewall. If you bump into a curb, you're not gonna scratch the wheel. You're gonna hit more of the sidewall. So that's good for those first time drivers out there. Front wheel drive, of course, no all wheel drive option. And everything is painted surf side style with the surf blue all the way around the fender opening. Now, as we come down the side and I'm dripping sweat, this is right now, I wish I was at the beach surfing, but we got to put in the work. That's how it happens. We got metallic black paint on the mirror caps, same shape on the mirror caps. You got that two tone. I like the way they black out the A pillar. And then you got sparkly metallic black on that roof. No roof rails or anything like that. So if you're going to have a surfboard, you're going to have to throw it on into the interior or you're going to risk scratching the heck out of that roof. Color matched on the door handles, nice clean indentation on the side. And you can see I'm six feet tall, the dimensions of this vehicle. It's a subcompact, not a compact vehicle. Working our way towards the rear as we slide down, we got that same shape on the quarter window and then you got your flat black to create that floating roof on the back side. And then speaking of the backside, we flip it around, we got some changes. You'll notice how they did the lighting, that Australian shrimp on the Barbie boomerang style with the rear glass. Obviously there's nowhere to put this rear wiper, so I'm not gonna zonk it, but you got a blacked out shark antenna. And that makes sense because if this, if you're going surfing, you gotta watch out with the sharks because they're gonna rip off your arms and your legs. That updated Kia badge looks great. A little bit of gloss black to kind of connect it all together and then as we work our way down very simple all you got is your sole badge they don't even put an s badge on this some silver to go with the wheels to go with the front and then the rest is flat black but why don't we go ahead let's pop open this box and see what's powering right, guys we got the hood popped surfs up surfside city because guess what we got hydraulic hood struts which is very surprising on a vehicle at this price point underneath the hood the biggest change for 2023, and it's not a very good change, you only have the naturally aspirated engine option. So what are we looking at? Gone is the 1.6 liter Pepe Turbo. What we have standard across all trims is the two liter inline four. It's 147 horsepower, 132 pound feet of torque. Now, if you're comparing this to the Honda HRV, the interesting thing is that the HRV only has one engine option. That's going to be a two liter as well, naturally aspirated inline four, but that has over 150 horsepower where this one has 147. We have what Kia calls an IVT, intelligent variable transmission, but let's call it what it really is. It's a CVT, but guess what? The HRV also has a CVT, zero to 60 in eight seconds flat. So if you're racing somebody on a skateboard, they might be passing you. Top speed is 120 miles per hour. You probably gotta be pretty nuts to push this thing to that top speed of 120 miles per hour. The vehicle only weighs 2,965 pounds. MPGs, this is where you're gonna come out on top. 28 on the city, 33 on the highway. And like I said, new for 2023, new grill, bumpers, headlamps, 17 and 18 inch wheels, along with our 16s, and then you got LX, S, GT line, and EX. But looking underneath the hood, simple, clean, efficient. It's got the color, it's got that cute box style. Let's hear what kind of sound this soul makes. Let's fire it up. All right, guys, we're inside this 2023 Kia Soul Surf Blue. And I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been looking for a smaller SUV. Definitely 
subcompact size. I'm not looking into spending a lot of money. It seems that this Kia Soul has the versatility I'm looking for and some of the style, and I'm liking the blue. How much is it? So MSRP, the way that this one is optioned, and Surf Blue is an optional color that comes with a charge. You're looking at MSRP right around $25,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panel. Up top, it's hard black plastic. So I wish there was a way they could have brought some softer material, but I do love the silver around the door handle and the door handle itself really adds a nice splash of some color there with the silver. Then you'll notice there's no gloss black whatsoever, which is great around the switch gear. Armrest is super soft. And then they brought the silver again in that middle section. Now the door pocket is a little tight, maybe four small bottles of sunscreen and some Gatorade to keep you hydrated in that bottle holder. Now going from the door panel to the dash, I like their attempt at adding style with the AC vents. Soft touch on the dash, which is great. And then look what we got. In a world where the HRV either has a seven inch or a nine inch infotainment system screen, we got the upgraded 10.25 infotainment screen. Navigation, as you can see, full touch screen. And I do like the way it's integrated into the dash area, but it's got all the same features that you're gonna find on other Kia products. You can get your, key, your climate control either through the screen or the actual physical buttons, which are nice, even the quiet mode. So when you're coming back from the beach and the kids are asleep, you're not gonna wake them up and then they start annoying you all over again. Real knobs and switches for your radio controls. There's our AC. You do have a digital readout, but it is just your regular standard controls temperature and obviously dual climate on both sides with your temperature and then to do your blower you're going to have that right in the center it's nice that they have the digital display what's awesome is you get wireless charging so you have a nice wireless charging pad and i'm going to move the shifter out of the way usb a usb c and it's 12 volt and then you got plenty of space here for four twinkies for when you're coming home after a busy day surfing I'm actually going to put this into reverse. This is the shifter, and there's the backup camera. So I wish it took up all 10 inches. Like, if you have 10 inches, if you're blessed with 10 inches, you got to use it all on your infotainment system screen. But the great news is you got trajectory, so you know where you're going to put it, this, this surf-colored Kia Soul. So that's great. Put it back in the park, and it goes back. So this is going to control that CVT, a little bit of silver. The gloss black is only in this area, and really you shouldn't be touching it. We got our start stop button, nice bright silver. We got drive modes. I'll show you that when you come over to the business side of things. Two cup holders. If you want to swing out the rear end on your Kia Soul, you got a mechanical, good old fashioned mechanical e brake. We have our Kia key fob. Say that 20 times fast. Remote start, nice silver touches. This armrest, I would say it's semi soft to hard as a brick. So not the greatest place to put your arm, but I do like the stitching and I like the height of it. Like this feels like, like you could sit here and just contemplate how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop. So that's kind of cool. Open it up, plenty of room in here. I would say you could probably put a medium size conch shell. So if you're at the beach and you find that one lucky shell that you've been looking for your whole life, that perfect conch shell, that you promised your grandmother you would find for her, you could keep it in there until you get home. Here's a little piece of advice. Make sure nobody's living inside the conch shell. And what I mean by somebody is a big old snail that could start to smell in your Kia Soul. So you'll have a smelly Soul surf colored vehicle. We don't want that. Don't ask me how I know that, but I know. Seats, they are cloth, but I do like the style. Nice, durable material. Look at this. I could rub my hand here. Doesn't tear. Doesn't rip. All grip. And I like this gray area, which kind of gives it just a little bit of flavor. Manual controls for the passenger. But you know what? Who cares about the passenger? You as the driver, you got an electric assist seat on the driver's side. But why don't you come over here to the business end because I want to show you behind a digital gash, dash display and tons of headroom that I have on this side, come on over. All right guys, business time behind the wheel. This is where you could drive your little surfer girl around. 
But what do we got? We got our seat controls on the lower side of things, even lower lumbar, which is a nice touch. I'm six feet tall, and I'm telling you right now, if you're the jolly green giant, you could drive this Surf Blue Kia Soul. There's plenty of room in here, even for me to grow. So if you're already eight feet tall, I think it'll work. You'll have to find out. But what's nice is, is you got a very thick rim steering wheel. The one thing that isn't nice that I am gonna zonk is there's no pleather, no leather, no suede, no vinyl. It's just that Rubbermaid steering wheel. So you gotta go higher up the trim, either GT line or EX. But I like the flat black on the buttons, the updated Kia badge, a little bit of silver. It is manual tilting and telescoping on the steering wheel. And the crazy thing is, S trim gets a full digital display. Love the graphics, love the colors, and then watch when you're ready to rock and roll to see who's gonna be the first at the beach. Boom, sport mode, baby. Light them up, smoke them if you got them in your front wheel drive sole. But nice to have those clear graphics, easy to read information. But you know what? Let's get into the back seat and see what the heck we're dealing with room wise in this flat top sole. All right, guys, come on in to my room. I'm in my room. What is this room? This is the passenger space in the back seat. And just like up front, they did a great job. You know, I know boxy cars had their moment in time with these small little SUVs, but really when it comes to headroom in here, it's crazy how everybody gets plenty of headroom even when you're sitting in the back seat because of the flat roof. Now, you'll notice that on this sole S trim, it's just plastic. The good news is as your kids are picking their nose and wiping it on here, you could just easily clean it off. So that's the good news. And then what we have down below, believe it or not, is connectivity, two USB-Cs. So hopefully that'll stop your kids from picking their nose because it's a very bad habit. You don't want them to grow up doing that just like you don't want them sucking their thumb the rest of their lives or they got their little wubby. So great news is you do have connectivity. Comparing that to the HRV, we got more room and we have connectivity in the back. Just saying. Sitting back here, I feel pretty good. The only issue is no armrest. So here's my advice. Go over to Tarpon Springs, go diving, and get yourself a natural sponge. That's where the sponge docks are. You could use that big old sponge after it dries out as an armrest. I mean, you could put it in here if it's wet, but it's probably just gonna go and you're gonna get salt water all over the place. But just something that you're gonna have to do because there's no armrest back here. But I wanna get back into that cargo area because I've been told there's a lot of room from somebody. Let's go check it out and see if it's true. All right, guys, let's see what this little deuce coupe has. We open it up, no electric cyst, but the good news is you don't have to be a big muscle bound, crazy steroid filled person to lift it. But you know what? The beach is that way if you were wondering. In the back, what do we got? Plenty of room. And this is one of those things where you look at the old saying, big things come in small packages. On the Kia Soul, definitely does. What do we got? We have 24 cubic feet of space with the seats up. Those seats will fold down and then obviously you'll be able to maximize your space. The great news is you could get a couple coolers back here for the beach, even bring the inflatable rafts and all the other toys that your kids want at the beach that they annoy you to blow up. You could already have it inflated and just throw it into the back of this vehicle because the cargo floor is very low and then watch what happens when we fold the seats down. First of all, I gotta fix this. This is one of my OCD pet peeves. I like the headrests nice and flat no matter where they are in the car, but 60-40 split. I'm gonna put down the other side. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Look at all that room. This is one of those vehicles that you think you can't go to Costco and load up on all those big barrels of ketchup and mayonnaise and potato chips. You definitely could get it back here. Obviously, we pick up the cargo floor. You do get a spare as well. So in a day and age where many brands are getting rid of their spare, we still got a spare back here, but you know what? I'm ready to see how this Kia Soul drives. This is actually the first naturally aspirated Kia Soul that I will be driving. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go on throttle together in this epic moment on Rady's Rides. All right, guys, we're behind the wheel of this refresh updated 2022 Kia Soul, new color and a little bit of 
new style. Driving this, obviously, very easy. This is one of those vehicles that if you live in a city and there's some tight city streets, this would be a breeze to drive. Plus, you're also going to get tons of versatility, even more so than some larger SUVs that we have driven here on Rady's Rides. Now, of course, looking at the type of vehicle that it is, it does everything just fine. Getting to the infotainment system is well within reach. You don't have any iPad style screen like you do on the HRV, and you have a full digital gauge cluster, plus all the safety features, the Kia DriveWise safety features with blind spot monitoring and everything. Seats, they're pretty comfy. They are supportive. Um, and the lower portion, believe it or not, has a nice long cushion for drivers like myself that have longer legs. But visibility is just king in here. And also the amount of headroom, of course, like we showed you. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna slow down a little bit. We do have it in sport mode. I'm gonna go on throttle, so here we go. On throttle. So you do have simulated gears, which are nice to help bring down the revs because of this being a CVT transmission. Other than that, it drives fine. I mean, the zero to 60, it's slow, but what are we expecting in a vehicle of this type? This is not meant to be a drag racer. This is meant to be a versatile, small vehicle with plenty of space that has some good driving aspects to it. And I think definitely Kia was smart to keep this vehicle around because there seems to be this cult fan base that love these little quirky smaller boxy shaped SUVs. The digital gauge display really makes this vehicle feel extra modern and I don't know I'm digging the surf blue let me know what you feel about it I feel like these types of blues have been used everywhere from hyper blue on the WRX STI and the BRZ to rapid blue on the C8 Corvette uh, nitrous blue on the Ford Focus RS, uh, very, very Miami Beach blue, shark blue, tons of these types of colors out there to just make it kind of a little bit more unique. And having the two-tone roof, I think the black just cuts it down enough to where it's not too in your face. But here's where I was telling you how you take the soul and you could really squeeze it through the tightest of areas. Very, very easy to drive and then we're going to go on throttle once again here to show you that zero to 60 i'm not going to do it from a dead stop that's just going to hurt everybody watching this but if you're ready i'm ready on throttle here we go so for the most part it be behaves like a traditional automatic transmission with a torque converter which is nice um, but it, it it helps keep those loud revs where a lot of CVTs you just peg the rev limiter when you're on throttle this you don't have to worry about that but visibility out the back is great the ride quality is really nice um, I think it's like I said it takes a certain type of individual to desire a vehicle like this which isn't a bad thing but it's nice that they kept it around at least for a couple more years and uh, have it available for those that want it. All right, guys, we're gonna get on the highway and see how this Kia Soul S-Trim drives. You got a pretty good vantage point from behind the wheel. But like I said, I just wish like the steering wheel had some leatherette material and the tops of the door panels I wish were soft because I like to put my left arm up onto the door panel when I'm driving down the highway and it just hurts to do that in this vehicle. But the good news is you don't have any fake sounds being pumped in or anything like that. And the overall ride, like I mentioned before, it's very smooth. Even over torn up pavement, 
it soaks it up really nicely because you got those 60 series sidewalls. But hopefully this has been a nice overall review of the updated, upgraded 2023 Soul. We're gonna get back to Loki Kia and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a Surfside second. All right guys, it's been another surfing kind of day here on Rady's Rides with this Kia Soul. Definitely wanna thank everybody, including Robert, at Loki Kia for getting us access. This literally just rolled off the truck. So these are hard to come by right now, if you could believe that. But let me know what you think. Has Kia done the right things, first of all, by keeping the Soul in their lineup? Should they get rid of their Soul? See what I did there? Or did they do the right changes? Did they do enough changes to go up against the other small SUVs in that subcompact class? Let me know which way you would go with your money. But until we meet another day on another parking lot on a hot Florida intense kind of situation, if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. We got to give, give it up to Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography, working that camera like a champ. He's been hydrating. He actually has his camel back on and it's filled with electrolytes because it's good for the body. Thank you, Stephen, for your hard work. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.